All right, so usually when you look for like essential pieces, you're really trying to figure out what shit comes down to what brand. Is it gonna be this brand or is it gonna be that brand? In this case, we're actually looking for essential pieces. So what we're about to do is break down if Zara is the best brand or Essentials is the best brand to actually pick for essential clothing pieces. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so starting off with Zara, this is more of like your fast fashion brand and everybody is actually trying to go and grab these pieces really quick. You're gonna have a wide variety of things, but it's gonna be based off of fashion for now. It could be just as simple as a t-shirt, a hoodie, some socks or pants, whatever it may be is going to have some type of twist to it in a Zara way, but at the same time, it's going to be of this time. Now, also when it comes to Zara, you're going to have different type of colors. And like I said, it's going to be something of its time. You're not going to look no different. You're not going to stand aside because again, you're wearing something that's more so trendy instead of a trend setting piece. But at the same time, they do have some standard pieces that's more so like white, gray, black, brown, blue, like those basic essential colors that you need, but it is up to you and what you consider your style to be so staying on the topic of being like more of a trendy thing Zara does not have its own cut so like there's particular brands that actually stand out because they have a particular fit a cut but in this case Zara doesn't it's more of just a standard piece so any essential piece that you actually do pick out is going to be something that's more so on the basic side if you do find something that's like more of their own fit you will see it's something that's more so like a standard box fit or a standard relaxed fit of course this is the basics of the basic and that's what zara is when it comes to fast fashion it's not going to be something that's just wide out there and for people to go crazy over this is going to be something that's standard because it's an essential piece now good thing about this is if you're trying to find your type of style or if you're trying to build up that wardrobe in your closet these are the great places to go because because why it's more affordable like you don't really have to spend too much money for you to actually get some essential t-shirts a couple button-ups some pants some socks and be straightforward and then be able to add on to your wardrobe from there and again for it to be fast fashion it's something for you to dress up now so it gives you time to wear what's hot right now and then later on as the seasons move forward and you start to up your style you could probably leave those behind and upgrade yourself so you don't have to really hold on and commit to that piece that you have and lastly when it comes to Zara I I will say it's not the best of all best quality. There's multiple stores like Cost, Uniqlo, and so many more other places that really do stand out when it comes to wearing essential pieces. Now Zara, I will say like again, they have like basic pieces, so they have basic quality. Sometimes they will have something that's an actual hit, but at the same time, if you buy something that's an actual hit, it'll have like thick fabric and it'll be boosted up with a price that's like $29 for a t-shirt when you really can buy a $4.99, $7.99, maybe $12.99 shirt at Uniqlo that have better fabric or something like that so in this case i wouldn't say that zara has the best quality now as far as essentials this is supposed to be more so of the affordable line of fear of god this is the entire line itself is an essential piece it's so many pieces that you could either dress up dress down stack on or you could just lead them by themselves. like you could simply wear them by yourself and you will still be stylish you don't have to lay it on with essentials over essentials over essentials and fear of god you don't have to do none of that. You can actually wear it by itself and it will still stand out as a fashionable piece. Not only is this a fashionable piece, it can also be a trendy thing because a lot of people like to wear this at the same time. Now the pieces that's created, they have their own fit, their own type of style, their own type of cut. So the clothes that you pick, they're gonna have a natural oversized fit to it. Now good thing about Essentials is that it's a limited piece and once it sell out, it sell out pretty much and it takes a while for it to either come back or sometimes he just does not bring it back again. So Pretty much you'll stand out on your own now the weird part about essential is it's an essential but it's not an essential because more of the branding is on there so it won't be like a basic t-shirt that you grab so it won't look like this zara t-shirt that you picked up and then you walk around and you could compare it to uniqlo and they all look the same because they they're just a basic t-shirt in this case, you'll have branding that's gonna be on top of the t-shirt and it's gonna be either small or it's gonna be big across your chest. So this is not gonna be just your average essential piece. This is gonna be more of a fashionable piece, something that actually stands out with a particular cut, a particular fit, or a particular branding that's gonna be on the piece whenever you buy it. Now, although this is the more affordable line, it doesn't mean that it's more affordable for you. Buying a $100 hoodie or a $125 hoodie, it's not inexpensive at all. Some of these pieces actually are like a t-shirt will actually go for about 45 to 50 dollars So you better be sure which ones you actually want to get and something that you are really going to commit to For a while before you actually go and buy these pieces Now the good thing about essentials is they always have different pieces that's considered an essential Whether it's a raincoat, a sports jacket, a varsity jacket, sweatpants, hoodies, socks, 
hats. All of these pieces are used as an essential, but at the same time, they could be used in multiple ways. Some could be used as the leading piece or some could be used as just an accessory to your fashion. But at the same time, these are gonna be different pieces, so it's not just gonna be your standard regular socks, regular t-shirts. This is something that stands out and every time you actually do wear essential, you'll pretty much stand out between everybody because they know that brand particular. Now adding on to that, Jerry Lorenzo, he don't follow no rules. There is no trend that he's trying to follow. He's a trendsetter. So when it comes to popular colors, you'll see him use different colors of his own that actually creates a trend set of its own. All right, so when it comes down to it all, I'm pretty sure y'all like, man, which one is it? Zara or Essential? I'm gonna lay it out this simple. If you are just getting into styling, you just getting into fashion, you're trying to find yourself when it comes to like finding your fashion and style, I would say go to Zara. You have cheaper, trendier pieces, so you will already know what the trends are. So whatever pieces that you grab, you're gonna have a particular fit or a particular cut that's already set for you, and it's not gonna blow your pocket. Then you'll be able to go inside of these stores and you'll have the opportunity to grab these essential pieces. And while you edit, you're able to go around this entire store and check out the new pieces that's coming out or the pieces that are out right now and see what you will add to that essential that you just grabbed. So that will help and train your mind like, like, hey, this is, the, this is the type of style that I like. This is the way that I want to go about my fashion. This is where I want to be. Now, if you're the type of person that already know your style, I would say Essential is going to be fun for you. Jerry Lorenzo have a wide variety of different type of styles. It's not just only one type of thing. So you have sweaters, rugby sweaters, t-shirts, hoodies, and, and so much more. He has a huge roller deck of just things that he could give you when you're trying to actually find your own type of style. But if you already know it, you already know what pieces that you're gonna look for. You know what type of color, fit, size, fit and everything, you know the type of feel, how it's gonna be heavy, if it's gonna be light, you already know this type of thing. So all you have to do is go on the website and buy it. And at the same time, you will already know your style, so this could be a piece that you buy and you can hold in your closet for a while because you can actually commit to this piece because you actually like, because it fits to the style that you have. So if you already know yourself and you already know your fit, I will actually say go to Essential. Hopefully that just gave y'all a vibe of how y'all should go shopping and everything for these big pieces and or these fast fashion stores. Hopefully that just gave you a little bit of insight. Now, with that being said, I know I've been gone for over a month. That's because, like I said, I told y'all before, I've been testing out these reels and I've been testing out these YouTube shorts and everything. And I wanted to give myself a real month to actually check this out and see if there's something that I wanted to do. Some of y'all like it, some of y'all don't. It is what it is. But with that being said, I am back on this screen. I'm back on a tube and I'm dropping more YouTube content and I've been waiting on this and I think he just gave me a repurposed refresh for me to come back and talk more about style and everything. So with that being said, y'all already know how the vibes go, man. I'm gonna catch up with y'all next time. I'm out, I'm gone. I'll holla at y'all. Peace.